Hello, my name is Graham at Carousel Direct. I'm the sales director here. There's an awful lot of publicity in the press over the last couple of years about the moth pandemic that is across the UK. There's a lot of people with a problem. There's very few people offering any practical, useful, sensible advice. And I think we're probably the only one that's doing that. So I'm gonna go straight in and tell you about how to deal with this problem and we can give you lots of very useful practical information so first of all you may think you don't have a moth problem because you haven't seen an adult moth flying around your home for months well that's not really the issue the issue is the eggs that the female moth has laid and those eggs can stay in egg stage for up to two years before they hatch and when the larvae hatches it's they that need to grow into a fully grown moth they do the eating, not the fully grown moth. So you may not be aware that you have the problem until it's too late. Too late meaning you start to see small holes in your garments and then you realize that you have a problem. You may not associate that problem initially with moth damage. You might think it's something caught in the washing machine or the tumble dryer, or it's catching on something else in the wash. But if you see a group of small holes very close together, I pretty much guarantee you that is a moth problem. But fear not, because the combination of Carousel Direct and Akana, British company, great products. There's 10 items in the range and they all do a specific purpose in terms of battling the moth. So I'm gonna go straight in and tell you how to deal with this problem. So first of all, we have hanging Akana moth killers. There's four in a pack, there's two packs of those. And you simply break them here on these little sprues and they hang in the wardrobe. They will last for roughly six months. Depends how warm your house is with central heating, etc. But give it anywhere from four to six months. At the end of that time, when it's got to the end of its use, the word end will appear. As soon as you see that, replace it, because from that moment onwards, you've lost your protection. So you obviously have to work out how many wardrobes you have, and you buy the number accordingly. They will last for six months too, for a normal average adult size wardrobe of say five to six feet wide. Then you have the Akana sachets. These are small little sachets, there are 20 of these, there's a strip of four there, and these go in drawers, in cupboards. I would put these in the pockets of suede, leather, furs, etc., and that will help to protect those garments. These last for three months. And these two products, the hanging and the sachet, are designed to work in a confined space. So they slowly release the chemical that is called transfluthorin, um, that's made by Bayer, and that is released into that confined space and it kills both the moth and the eggs that she has laid. It's totally non-toxic, non-carcinogenic. It's fatal to two things, moths obviously, because that's what it's designed for, and tropical fish. So I would not suggest using either of these any if you do hold um, tropical fish in your home. So those are the two products that we sell the most of, the hanging and the sachet. Thereafter, sometimes people don't know where the problem is in the home. <coughs> so we have an Akana moth trap. And this one can be put anywhere around the house and it would last for two months and you peel off the sticky paper that's on the inside here and the glue is impregnated with the female pheromone that attracts the male, he sticks to it, it kills him, you take him out of the reproductive cycle. That on its own is not the total solution, but it's taking him out of the equation. It's part of the solution. And there are refills for that moth trap. For reasons that none of us can explain, moths are very territorial so it could be that when you place this in the room after a couple of days, you notice it hasn't caught any moths. It's not that the trap is not working. It may be that where you put it in that room is not a space where the moths like. So move it to somewhere else in the room. Leave it for a few days, see what happens. And then I gradually would move this around the house or buy two or three of these. And wherever you see the most moths caught, that is where your infestation has started and obviously where you need to take the most urgent action. We then have another one called the <coughs> Akana Airing Cupboard Moth Killer and Freshener. 
and this comes with a little fixing kit here and this, this will fit to the inside of the back of the door of the airing cupboard. Not every house has an airing cupboard, um, but many do, and there's a great dark, warm, damp place for the female to go and lay her eggs. Take it out of the packaging, fix it, fix it to the back of the door, push this plunger here, and that works, and that will last for roughly three months. And again, throw it away, buy another one at the end of three months. And finally, we have a fabric moth killer spray. It's a 275 ml bottle, um, spray bottle. You've got a, a label on the back and you peel that off there and all the directions are on the inside of the label. And that can be sprayed onto fabrics. I wouldn't suggest silk, suede or leather, just in case it might leave a slight water stain around the edge where you sprayed it. Um, I would spray on the inside, I'd spray the lining of those garments and I would put the sachets in the pockets of those garments. But this you can spray into wardrobes. This is designed to work in an open space. So the three things that everybody needs, this is your insurance policy, is the spray, the hanging and the sachet. That combination of those three items will help you deal easily, quickly and very effectively with your moth problem. So that's the clothes moth, and the clothes moth is the most common prevalent moth in the country. They are all over the country, and we won an international award for coming up with our moth infestation map. And if you can see that from where I'm sitting here, every part of the country is a threat, literally, from Cornwall up to the top of Scotland, and we're selling colossal amounts of moth products all over Britain. The next big problem for a lot of people, and it seems to be increasing very much over the last couple of years, is the carpet moth. Different moth, same sort of scenario. The higher the wool content of the carpet, i.e. the more expensive the carpet, the more luxurious the carpet, the more attractive to the moth. And the female carpet moth will only fly about 15 inches, 30, 40 centimeters off the, off the ground, whereas the, the clothes moth will fly at any height that they feel like. And the carpet moth will seek to lay her eggs in two protected places, under the sofas and chairs, because they've worked out that we don't move the heavy furniture when we vacuum the carpet, so it's pretty safe there. And also where the carpet meets the skirting board, because we don't walk right on the edge of the carpet. And once that larvae has hatched, they eat the carpet. And they will eat the wool, and they leave the hessian matting underneath, and you suddenly start to think to yourself, carpet's looking a bit threadbare in one or two places, you've got the carpet moth. So we have two answers for that. We've got a big 500 ml carpet spray. Um, again, non-toxic, non-carcinogenic, totally safe to use with adults and children and pets around the home. Spray, move the furniture out of the way, spray the carpet, leave it for probably half an hour before you go back in the room. Do that again about a month later. It's all on the back. The instructions are shown on the back and the inside there. And then I would probably do that again twice more during the same year. So you're going to spray roughly three to four times. One bottle will cover 25 square meters. That is a lot of carpet. But there's another product that goes hand in hand with that because life is short and we all forget three, six, 12 months down the track or most of us do. So we now have a carpet moth trap. And this can either lie flat on the top of the carpet, under the sofas or chairs, and that again, that will kill the moths and take them out of the equation. Or it comes with a little fixing kit. The plastic unit is white. Most English skirt, British skirting boards are white. So that fixes to the skirting board. And again, that kills the moth. So it's a combination of spray, use the trap. As soon as you start to see dead moss on the trap, have another spray. If you don't, those, don't do those two things, your carpet's at risk. And the result of that is replace the carpet, with, which for most of us is a, a big expense and is a lot of hassle. Get rid of the old carpet, find a new carpet, get carpet fitters, move all the furniture out of the way, all because you didn't use those two. And also there is a special carpet moth trap refill to the carpet trap. So again, those three products there 
will help and deal with your carpet moss issue. And finally, we've got an Akana Hanging Moisture Absorber. I'm coming back to the clothes moth here for a second. The clothes moth loves to lay her eggs in dark, damp and undisturbed places. So this is a pack of four um, little moisture absorbers. They come with a hanger, they hang in the wardrobe. They do two things. They remove the moisture out of the atmosphere in the wardrobe. They make it less attractive to the female moth, so that's part of your moth solution. But they also remove um, that sort of damp, musty smell that you get when a wardrobe has been um, left closed for a, quite a long time. So the best advice I can give is if you think you've got the moth problem or you realise you've got the moth problem, then take everything out, take all the clothes out of the wardrobe, take any attachment off the end of a vacuum cleaner and thoroughly hoover inside the wardrobe. And then try and put back less clothes than you took out and have a gap, maybe only a couple of centimetres between each garment, because when that larvae hatches, they have not yet got wings, they can't cross the gap between the two products. At least that way, you can limit some of the damage that could occur. Obviously then, if you put back less garments than you took out, you're gonna put them somewhere else. So in that other wardrobe, you need to use, guess what? You, I would, first of all, spray the inside of the wardrobe with the spray, and I'd hang the hangers in the wardrobe before I put the garments back. Another very simple way to help deal with the moth problem is to use our carousel garment covers. We have been making these for 35 years. It's a fabric called Piva, which is a derivation of PVC. So it's a man-made fabric, and moths do not eat man-made fabrics. They only eat natural fibres. So suit and dress covers will help protect those garments. And we have a zip-up sweater bag and a slightly larger version for blanket bags. So the combination of the Piva and the Akana products, again, helps battle the moth problem. We also have another range of products called the Carousel Vacuum Storage Bags. We've got a large one, a jumbo one, and a travel one and these two connect to the vacuum cleaner and as long as there's no eggs or larvae in the garments that you put into the vacuum storage bag by sucking all the air out and sealing it you land up with a totally airtight container and that is the ultimate moth solution so i hope all of that is at help is of help to you um, all my staff here at carousel are very knowledgeable incredibly friendly and um, we'll be as helpful as we can. If you need more advice, give us a call on the number below and panic not, we can help you deal with the problem. So thank you for that, Grand the Carousel, bye bye.